I just want to do a quick video about how I travel, how I fly with my bass guitar. This works for a guitar. It's even easier if you're using a guitar because it's a little smaller. Probably works for any other instrument or things you're trying to carry on a plane that are uh, deemed too big for carry-on requirements. Um, first off, this works. Uh, I've done this a, I don't know how many times it works for me. I wouldn't try it on something like Ryanair because they're extremely specific about that stuff and will charge you if you, um, they'll weigh your, your carry-on bag at the last minute to see if you bought anything and you're overweight. Any other airline though, just pretty much is no problem. Um, I don't check my guitar in with the hard shell case. It's costs more, it, they lose it, they damage it. Uh, it's more to carry, it's a pain in the ass really. Um, Worst thing is they lose it, you know, it, 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 it'll come back, they'll find it, but it could be a day or a week or two weeks later. Usually when I'm flying with my guitars to play a show, I don't, I need it the same day. Um, so I use a, a gig bag, a soft case. If you get one with the backpack straps, it makes things a lot easier as well, just to travel with it and carry it around through an airport. Um, when I approach the ticket counter to check in luggage and get my boarding pass, I don't carry it like a backpack anymore and have this big neck and headstock sticking over. I, I don't want them to see that I have something that's bigger than I should have uh, to take on as carry-on. So the best way is hold it from the handles, like you're carrying a briefcase, neck facing behind you, and angle it. So like keep the neck even kind of like, I'll turn this way so you You know, I'm like this, so when I'm facing in front, they don't see this big guitar. They just It's almost like I'm just holding a, a briefcase or something and when I walk up to the counter I just set it down on the ground right away so they don't see it. They've, I've had them notice it before. Sometimes they say something, sometimes they don't care at all. You never know. But it just makes it easier to avoid it. Um, same thing with when I go on to the plane, when I'm going on through the gate. Uh, I try to not make it so obvious. Uh, really, most of the time I don't have a problem. Uh, if they stop and ask, I'll be very polite, try to be like friendly, you joking with them, smile, all that typical stuff to get on someone's good side. Don't be a jerk, don't be rude, don't get mad. Um, explain to them, I've done this a lot of times uh, with all these other airlines, I've done it with your airline, blah, blah, blah. Never had a problem, it fits very nicely in the overhead compartment, it's small, compact, there's still room for everyone else to put stuff. And Usually it's not a big deal. If the overhead compartments are super full, you might have to juggle around. I found sometimes uh, when you get to choose your own seat, try to get more in the back of the plane. Not always, that's the problem, but sometimes you end up boarding uh, earlier that way. So the overhead compartments are not completely full. If they are, you might have to walk further or and find a place. Um, the worst thing that's happened to me on a few flights is the overhead compartments are weird. It's a smaller plane, usually in those cases, and the overhead compartments are only like this big, so there's no way to fit it there. Second option is ask very nicely at the first class section, in the business class section, there's always, almost always a closet there for first class to, to hang their coats, and there's space for a guitar there. Um, if you, I mean, you, it's, I've never had it where I can just open it and sneak it in there because they're always standing in that area at the stewardesses. So I just ask them and they, in those cases, they let me down it. Um, finally, the worst case scenario is really there is no space to put it. Um, they'll tell you to do what's called a gate check. That's where at the plane, right as you get, right before you're going up the stairs to the plane, they will take it, someone working there in the, for the luggage, takes it and puts it where the luggage goes uh, by hand. And again, be nice to people. They'll and ask them to just be really careful with it. Put it there gently, blah, blah, blah. When you get off the plane, when you land, as soon as you get off the plane, it's there waiting for you or you wait there and they bring it to you. Um, I've had to do that maybe three or four times. In all times, it was okay. Loosen your strings before you fly. I always do that. It's gonna have less stress on your neck, less chances for anything to break. Um, Couple times I've had them tell me I have to gate check it anyways, even though there's plenty of room on the plane. And like I say, just try to be nice to them. Uh, don't be a jerk about it. And just explain nicely, like, okay, I, the problem is this is an expensive guitar. You lie about it, say it's a $3,000 guitar. 
and it's very sensitive to hot weather or cold weather. And is the is the luggage area is that climate controlled? Their answer is going to be no. Um, or if they do have, sometimes they do have a climate controlled area where they keep pets and stuff. So then they might be able to just put it there for you even, so it's safer. Um, but usually when you kind of work with them that way, they'll, they'll be willing to work with you. It's, it's, they have space for it most, 99% of the time. It's just a matter of them doing it. Um, finally, the last thing is if, all right, I'm, consider this, there's, you're really not, if you read the regulations on any airline, the guitar or bass or something is over the size limit for a carry-on. Um, they do make it, they make exceptions. They don't advertise you can do it and they can change their mind and say you can't do it. Um, but since I'm kind of breaking their rules by bringing something oversized, a really good idea to keep in mind is don't also bring a carry-on bag, like a huge carry-on bag along with it. Try not to bring one at all. If I have to, I'll bring a small backpack and not like totally packed. Um, that way it's, you know, you're not trying to, you're not really overkilling it and you, you'll probably have a better success rate in doing this. Though, like I said, I've done this, I don't know how many times and um, I've also flown a lot with the hard shell case and I've had much more problems doing that than doing this. So if you're flying with this, hopefully it helps. If you ever, if anyone ever has a problem like that with an airline where they wouldn't let them on a plane or really screwed them over, made them charge or pay a lot for doing this, um, let me know and tell me what airlines I know to avoid them and hopefully yeah more people hear about airlines that do that they'll avoid them as well all right